DC crown successfully. Can the Klitschko's continue this amazing dual role? Little brother Vladimir, an overwhelming favourite here. Against the pumped up former top quality cruiserweight in Jean Marc Mormac, all eyes on whether Klitschko will make a statement. He hasn't had an early knockout for a few years now. Will he go for it? And what if Mormac can he possibly get inside and inflict damage? Klitschko has been down 11 times in his long career. But we do have to say it's a long time since Vladimir Klitschko has been shaken by, by a punch. I mean, he was novice-like in his early days. He took the full force of punches, but under Manny Stewart, he has learned he's a different fighter altogether. But already, he looks so much bigger than Mormack. Mormack looks tiny with that crouching style he adopts. Around about 30 pounds in weight between them. And Vladimir Klitschko coming off that masterclass, really against David Hay last July in Rainy Hamden here with a roof on at the Spirit Arena in Dusseldorf he gets his jab going and it's another good start he's grabbing hold of more mate he's already been warned uh, you know we're only a minute into the fight and already he's been warned for grabbing hold leaning down see this is the kind of thing that would tire a, a smaller opponent he does not like to work up close Every time Mormick gets close, this is bad stuff, we need, we need a strict referee here. Uh, Vladimir is taking liberties at the moment, this is buying a lot of order. Luis Pavon, the referee from Puerto Rico, working early on. Mormick ducking low. Klitschko's got that terrific jab, what a weapon it is, looking for the overhand right. Now that, that is better, Adam, keep him at bay with the jab, but this leaning on, pulling down, leaning the top of his shoulders, now this can do damage, the referee has to get on his case for that. Has occasionally blown hot and cold, Vladimir Klitsch goes in hand to right hand, gum shield out of Mormek. Just loose there, and a left hook from Vladimir Klitschko. You know, I wonder, because of the odds in this fight, if Klitschko would maybe have thought about carrying more neck for a few rounds, but certainly not the case. These are real powerful jabs, thumping left hooks he's throwing already. He's looking for the early finish. Right hand, top of the head. Quickest finish in the last few years was against Ray Austin in two. So wanted to stop David Hay, but couldn't. Promising the 50th knockout for the 50,000 here tonight. Yep, no signs whatsoever. He wants this to go a few rounds before he gets down to business. Tried everything in that opening round, big round for Klitschko, but took a few liberties along the way, I felt. Doing this amount of time. Good round. <sighs> The corner of Jean-Marc Mormack and Emmanuel Stewart in Klitschko's Oosh. corner on the other side of the ring saying he's tired out already, Mormack. Oh, the pushing down, the leaning on and grabbing hold, that was part of the plan, but you don't expect results in the opening round. I think Mormack will still have plenty left. I think he now realises how huge his task is tonight. Vladimir Klitschko, the 35-year-old, almost 36, looking for victory number 57 in the... Red and gold, as always, the black of the short squat, Jean-Marc Mormek, former world cruiserweight champion. He's had three heavyweight fights, all victory at a much lower level. It's a huge step up at heavyweight. At the tail end of his career, Mormek. And he has also been inactive. It's all stacked against him. But can he just get close and detonate one shot? He can't even get any punches off. He's been completely nullified by Vladimir Klitschko. He's learned a lot, as I say, under uh, Manny Stewart. He knows how to rough opponents up. He knows how to control them and nullify what they can do up close. And that's what he's doing here. Planting his feet early tonight, isn't he, Jim, as well, Klitschko? 
Yeah, these are thumping punches that he's sending, and he's not looking to carry this fellow. Good right hand there from Klitschko. Legs just buckled momentarily of Mormack. And already the task is looking monumental for the Frenchman. There's the right hand again. He's slow, he's cumbersome, Mormack. He can't get out of the way of these. And when Klitschko faints, instead of getting ready with a counter, Mormack is covering up, waiting for the punch to come. So I think he's finding out here, he is out of oh, right hand. So, Down he goes, Mormack. Inside the second round. And he looks at his corner, he smiles through that gum shield. And he gets to his feet. Many call this a mismatch. And in reality, that's what's happening. I think there's so many Klitschko opponents, more make has found he's completely out of his depth. And he's just probably hanging around, waiting for the end to come. Cannot even get any punches off. Team Mormack in the blue corner alongside us, bellowing instructions. There's another right hand. The power that Klitschko does have as well cannot be underestimated, especially against a much lighter guy who David Hay stopped. Well, I've said that Mormack has proved to be a warrior, but he's not even getting the chance to be a warrior. He cannot even get any punches off. The job is just too huge for him. Fast hands from Klitschko, looking for the combinations. No signs of wear and tear, even this stage of his career. Ten seconds left in the second round. Will Mormack survive? Just missed by a whisker there, Klitschko. He does the Frenchman and wearily returns to his corner. Now, unfortunately, we're just looking at a, a man with a two-stone weight advantage beating up another fellow who does not have a hook. He's putting full power into every shot. Klitschko is looking for the finish. No, I thought, as I said earlier, he may have carried Mormek for a round or two, but no, he's looking for the finish. He wants to get him out of there. And, Jim, for the critics who say, you, you know, we can't have this sort of a fight for the world heavyweight title. The trouble is, the challengers are not out there for the Klitschkos. If he was dodging live contenders to fight people like Mormack, you could criticise him, but they've cleaned the division up. So, he has to make money, we have to have Klitschko fights, but uh, this cannot, I'm afraid, be called a fight. Into the third round, and Vladimir Klitschko straight into the centre of the ring again. Has Mormack recovered from the knockdown in the second? Just push back there. There's the, the physical difference, the strength of Klitschko. But it's amazing, there's always that little bit in the back of his mind to be careful. I mean, even with Mormack, who has posed no threat whatsoever, when they're up close, he grabs hold of him, puts his chin over his shoulder. That is just in, in a little, there he goes again. He'll not take a single chance. Paid off for him. But I don't really see this continuing too much longer. A couple of clean shots should do it. And there was that spell in his career when he was fought four times by Corey Sanders, three by Samuel Peter, Lamont Brewster stopped him. It was all going horribly wrong. But he's learned under Emmanuel Stewart. He's become a superior technician to pretty much everybody else now, Vladimir Klitschko. I still feel the referee should be on his case a little bit more than he's grabbing hold. Mormek's trying to get up close, but the only place he can get some punches off. When he gets there, he's been grabbed and spotted. Here we go again. I mean, really, the referee should be having a word about this. Mormek just gets one in there. He believes in the theory of the brittle chin of Vladimir Klitschko because of those knockdowns deep in the past but if he can hurt him, who knows? These are good jabs, Klitschko's throwing here, solid, accurate just keeping more net where he wants him. 
so difficult to beat Klitschko. And that's been the story of the last six, seven years at the summit of the heavyweight division. What not as clean from Klitschko in this round? More men getting closer a lot more often and getting grabbed a lot more, more often, I may say. Really, he wants to be having a look about this. Again, they come together. And again, the referee splits them. Just has a look at Klitschko there. Left hand and bundles more back to the floor. I think there was well, a punch was a left hook. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a solid left hook. It looked to me as though it landed on the shoulder. And the weight as well of Klitschko, that wouldn't have helped Mormack as he went down. We saw Adlanier Solis injured against Vitali Klitschko in the first round as Vladimir gets a bit of a telling off. Yeah, not before time, he's having a wonder long last. I don't know if it's the same infringement as I'm talking about. But uh, I mean, there was a certain punch landed there. You got to know me, I think that you would like me very much. Yeah, if you got to know me, I think that you would like me very much. Next time you're out driving, look out for Nick and Helen, and Tom, and Dave, and Amy, and Paul, and Big Chris, and Trevor, and Kev, and Matthew. Close then up, down. And even Manny like Stewart's complaining about Klitschko, the, the way he's grabbing hold up close he's every time. Back. It's not like he's a guy that's going to counter punch. When he punches okay. at you, he has... You don't need that. You don't need don't that, that because I Well, he's being okay. told off you don't have to. by the referee the there in the His corner. Is going. You just Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, uh, you're not looking quite as happy. A bit messy, that third round. And he has had a couple of stamina issues in the past, Vladimir Klitschko, who is apparently a hundred to one on favourite to retain his titles. Immeasurable odds. And Jean-Marc Mormack still in it. Throws the left hook. This is when he got David Hay in trouble in their cruiserweight unification scrap. I mean, Klitschko's actually burning up needless energy himself with all the wrestling up close, the leaning down on Mormack. He has an excellent jab, but when he uses it, he can keep this fellow at long range where he wants him. He's not using it enough. Mormack getting closer now, not an awful lot more success, but he's not been pinned on the end of the jab at the moment. Bobbing and weaving a bit more, Mormack. Trying to dig into Klitschko's chest. See, Mormack has to get close to do anything, and when he gets there, Klitschko's grabbing hold. There they are, the elbow above the, the neck again. He's not going to have a chance to get any punches off when he gets up close. Right, oh, that's a beautiful shot, left hook. That probably is the end of the affair. Can Mormack rise? He smiles, he's almost saying no. I don't think there's a chance. 50th knockout on the verge, that's it. The promise is delivered in front of the 50,000 in Dusseldorf and Vladimir Klitschko retains his world heavyweight titles in fight number 60. He is still top man alongside his brother. The Klitschko story continues. Yep, and the punches that finish the job, 100%.